Hey guys, this video is for my friend Alan West and his ag class. I want to show you the ins and outs of trout farming. And trout farming starts right here behind me. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Farm. You just cannot go to any body of water and begin to pull water from it. Water temperature is important, water quality is important, and then the government places you know, a lot of restrictions on how much water you can capture from a river or a, a creek uh, to divert to the farm. And that all happens right here. You can see there's a, a dam here. And as the water is diverted down through this trough, there's a stream that lays in here with holes all in it. The water pours down through here and is captured by a pipe. It runs over here to this head box. So that would be filled with water and gigantic pipes lead from inside this box and they go underground to the farm. So you can't capture 100% of the water and then the water that is diverted to the farms and the raceways, and you see the raceways going all the way down there. There's also requirements on how you put that water back into the, the creek or the river. Um, because of the waste that the trout produce, um, you have to find ways to filter out that waste so that you're not putting you know, a ton of polluted water back into the, into the uh, creek. And so there are uh, ways that that's done, and I'll show you a little bit of that. Another aspect of trout farming, of course, is you got to be able to move the trout. And so we're on Teleco Trout Farm, and you can see they have several trucks. And inside these big tanks here, there's a tank on this side, tanks on the other side all the way down, lids up on top. So you dump the trout in there, you fill those tanks with water. There's all sorts of gauges on the side to let you know the water level. And also, if you're transporting trout, you just can't throw them in water. They've got to have oxygen. And so these oxygen tanks pump oxygen into these boxes and that keeps the trout alive. And here's another one of the trucks. Same sort of system and setup. How do you get the trout from the raceways into the truck? Well, you have something like this. And this is a loader. And just a cool truck in general, ain't it? Big old deuce and a half is what they call that, a military truck. So you have a boom. The operator sits up there. At the end of that boom is this gigantic net. And so you pull this next to the raceway and the net goes into the water, scoops out the trout and that truck's parked right next to the raceway too. And you dump the trout into the top and you're ready to transport to another farm. Another question you might have is once you get the trout into the truck, how do you get them out? And that's pretty cool. That's one of the things everybody likes seeing. Got this metal chute right here that will attach right here and come out and so this box would be full of trout and you attach the chute here lift this up and all the trout are going to come washing out the bottom and fall into the pond or the raceway or whatever it is that you're offloading the trout to. All right, so up there is the intake, and from the intake, we have underground pipes that lead us to here. And you see the water boiling out. You can't see the pipe, but it's right under here. And another one under there. And this is what feeds the raceways. Generally, the smallest fish will be at the upper end of the farm, and as you go down, they get larger. But here's where my job comes into play. 
a vaccinate trout. And all these trout right here are about two to three inches long and uh, close to about mm, a half an ounce a piece. So what I do is I jump in this raceway. I'll take one of these screens and I start at the very bottom and I'll put the screen in and I'll push all the fish up to this end of the raceway. And I take a second screen and I'll scoop a few thousand fish out and I'll herd them together in here. And I use my net and I dip up the fish and next they go to a bucket. Now that bucket has got an anesthesia solution that puts the fish to sleep. So they'll go to sleep in about 30 seconds. They're asleep. All right, I'm gonna set up so you can watch me shoot these things. I'll be back. All those fish will wake up in about two or three minutes and swim off. So I'm done with this raceway, I go to another one. Just keep going until I've got all the small fish on this farm vaccinated. And it's a never ending chain because this, as soon as I get these fish done, more fish are coming out of that building right there, which is the hatchery. The fish arrive as eggs and they're developed and they're grown until they're big enough to be put out on the farm. And then shortly after they're put out on the farm, that's when I vaccinate. Here's kind of a cool thing. It doesn't happen a whole lot. You don't see it much, but just up above that old truck is the hatchery. And here's how we get the fish from the hatchery to the farm. You can see them being flushed out of that pipe. So we flush them down the hill. That pipe runs underground all the way up there. The vast majority of fish grown on the farm are rainbow trout. And generally, they're all female. Um, female trout grow faster and bigger than males, and so they're more desirable, of course, to eat. But we do have a few specialty varieties. And the golden trout are super easy to spot. We've got brook trout, and we've got brown trout, tiger trout, and then, of course, golden trout. And a few of these golden have escaped. And they are just beautiful fish. Well, one of the problems with having so many fish in a confined area is that they need a lot of oxygen. The water has to be oxygenated. And in particular, in the summer, that becomes a hard thing to do as the water heats up. So we use these boxes right here. Now right now, because it's the winter, they're not in operation. But in the summer, where the water flows in, there'll be a screen that lays across the top of the whole thing. 
The hoses right there have got oxygen flowing through them and they're connected to the insides of the boxes. So as the water flows into the box and pours down through the openings in the screen, the inside of that box, the hollow place, is filled with of, uh, high uh, oxygen, oxygenated air. The water picks up the oxygen, pours out through the bottom of the box, and oxygenates the water. And in the summer, every other set of raceways has one of these boxes to keep the, the oxygen level high enough for the fish to survive. One of the ways that we keep the water clean as it runs through the farm and, and eliminates a lot of the waste that the trout produce and the old feed and stuff that they don't eat happens right here at the end of every raceway. You see there's a screen and then there's a small settling area. So as the waste goes through the screen, it lays right in this area. Now this is probably oh, about a foot deep, full of waste. And over here, it's just concrete on the bottom. So all that waste is right here. Now, this is gonna pile up eventually, so how do we get rid of it? These pipes right here. We pull the pipe, it makes a big gigantic drain, like a bathtub drain. And we just broom the waste, and it's sucked right down through there, and it goes to a settling pond, a larger, uh, big pond, and all the waste settles out in the bottom of that pond and allows the clean water to go on past and go back into the creek and river.